ready to come to the Barbadian public, public again and, and demonstrate how uh, well a corporate citizen we are. Um, so that will be coming up sometime soon. But we first have to get over independence and Christmas, um, Christmas and then um, you know get over all the things that we're supporting right up until February, until the end of January. We have our Christmas promotion to start um, and those things. So it's going to be a very busy week for the team uh, right up until the end of January. So we get over those hurdles first and then we start looking at February um, 2030. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados and as the CEO, I would like to express my thanks to Digicel for continuing its social and community responsibility through this outreach donation to the Foundation. As one of the many charities on island, we know that the business houses are frequently asked for donations for worthy causes. And having been established for 26 years, some 26 years ago, we've been around the circuit a few times. Mm -hmm. However, those who continue to support the vital work that we do really have influenced the ways in which we utilize those valuable funds. And I'm pleased to see some of our other partners here today as well that we actually provide services for. We recognize that we need to engage the masses and not just the chosen few. We try to make our messages catchy but simple and we ensure our projects are highly visible. Now, why is this required, you may ask? Well, the facts speak for themselves. Two strokes occur every three days in Barbados, and we're seeing younger men and women having those. Sudden cardiac death occurs more frequently than we think. One in five adults have high blood pressure, and one in two are overweight, and one in 16 are diabetic. So therefore, we have set up strategic projects to target those specific groups. That is why in early 2013 we'll be focusing on our men folk at the day at the races on the 26th of January. And we'll be continuing our Go Red for Women campaign, which focuses on women and children with heart disease, at our Red Fet on the 3rd of February, Kensington Oval. And it was a time, and I would say it was one of the easiest times that we got funding for um, their project. Because I took a lupus awareness project to Digicel, it was divided down components, and I expected them to take just one. They took almost all. So that was one headache, <coughs> sorry, one headache off. And my point of that is to say that Hope Foundation was not set up really to raise funds. We need funds, but we were set up to raise awareness. And the truth of the matter is, if we have a fundraising event, it could take us almost six months to recover from that. So it is always, we are always very grateful rather, when an organization would choose our foundation to be a charity to benefit um, in these kind of ways, and particularly to Digicel, who would not wait until it is an occasion, but on an ongoing basis, would be supportive of all. Um, Digicel for me is always a phone call away. I'm a Digicel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also want to add one thing that um, Shelley might encourage you to um, to start looking at the Lupus Foundation, um, at Port Foundation that supports Lupus. Lupus. Um, I only read a couple days ago that Barbados is the second highest country in the world that um, have the highest number of uh, Lupus sufferers, um, which is something that probably will affect most of us or most of our families around Barbados and the Caribbean. So we want you to encourage to give um, to lupus, give in a good way, give, uh, come out and support events. For those people who are suffering lupus, you can contact Hope Foundation. Um, Judy Cell is always in the front of Fort Holiday. Um, you can check her Facebook page.